بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس آئی ایم یور انسٹرکٹر فار دا سبجیکٹ بایولوجیکل ٹیکنیکس ڈاکٹر عائشہ رشید ٹوڈے آئی ایم ہیئر ود دا لیب نمبر ون وچ ہیو دا ٹائٹل مائکرو بایولوجی لیب پریکٹس اینڈ سیفٹی رولس ایکچولی وین ایور وی ٹاک اباؤٹ ٹو ورک ان اینی لیب Uh, we must first consider the safety measures to work in that very lab. I have mentioned some of the basic lab practices and safety rules while talking about to work or to have any experiment in the microbiology lab. So before starting the work in the lab, following safety rules must be considered and definitely they must be followed at any cost. The first and the basic rule is wash your hands with the different types of surfactants. When you arrive at the lab and even again before you leave the lab. In nowadays in this corona pandemic, this has also become very much essential to wash your hands with any Uh, disinfectant for at least 20 seconds. So this is general lab practice and this is the practice of current uh, time as well. So whenever you enter in the lab, you must first wash your hands. Then wear the lab coat, a proper neat and clean covering your whole costume, lab coat must be weared. Students with the long hair must tie up, must pony up their hairs. They must cover up their hairs properly with a cap positively. And if in girl's case, you are wearing the dupatta or you are wearing the hijab or scarf, whatever, your uh, hairs should be tied properly and your hairs must be covered. So this is the second important step. The first one was washing of the hand. And the second is wearing up the lab coat and covering up your hairs. At the start, at the end of each laboratory session, students should clean their assigned bench top area with a disinfectant solution, which is provided by the lab attendant. That space should then be kept neat, clean, and uncluttered throughout the each laboratory period. So this is the sanitary uh, or hygiene condition. But your, first, you have washed your hands, you have put up your the lab coat or your uh, cap. Then you must enter uh, in the lab. After entering in the lab, you, you, all, you must also focus your work area, your workstation. It should not be dirty. It should not be messy. It should not be scattered with irrelevant things. Your workstation, your uh, table of the lab or the area where you want to put on your beakers, where you want to put on your chemicals or you want to perform all the uh, stuff of the lab, that area must be clean. How that must be clean? That must be, first of all, it must be clean from all the dirt, from all messy things, and then it must be disinfectant with any suitable disinfectant, clear? And this practice should be repeat same when throughout the lab and while leaving your workstation. The fourth point is eating or drinking in the laboratory is not permitted at any cost. You should not have any eatables. You should not carry any such belongings with you in the lab because these are strictly prohibited. And moreover, in the lab, mouth pipit should never ever be used. Always use the suckers, always use the uh, bubble suckers or press suckers for pipiting out. Clear? The next point is label everything very clearly then sterilize equipment and material. The labeling will help you out for to become messy. If you have put on the citric acid and if you have uh, this, uh, put on the fluoric acid in one beaker and you have not labeled these two beakers, then probably the chances are there you will get mixing of both acids. So labeling is very much important and basic parameter. You must label every chemical, every material, every uh, liquid so that confusion or hazards can be avoided. 
Similarly, before using any kind of equipment or material, like if you are going to use pipettes, if you are going to use packer dishes, because all equipments and materials must be sterilized by using oven, by using sterilizer, these equipments must be sterilized. These are all the practices which you will do every day in every uh, kind of lab. So these are the general practices which must be followed, followed in every kind of work while we are talking about the working in the lab. Then avoid loose fitting items of clothing. You, sh you shouldn't uh, put on the frocks, you shouldn't put on the long and uh, heavy sleeves. So your clothing must be properly fitted. Uh, in, in, in other case, what will happen, your frock, your sleeves will, uh, will cause the breakdown of any material or it may dip or it may catch the fire even. So the loose clothing should be avoided. You should be properly uniformed in neat and clean clothes. Avoid loose fitting items of clothing. Wear appropriate shoes in the laboratory. Yes, the, your, you must put on the proper, your closed shoes, your boot should be there. No open safety chappal or fancy shoes are allowed because in case of any hazard, like if uh, acid is there, acid is, uh, you can see thrown by mistake, you can have burns on your skin. So for safety, my, your safety shoes must be put on. Then report any breakage of equipment to the instructor. If there is any breakage of main store items or any breakage of your beaker or any ACD container, you must immediately report this breakage to the lab attendant, to the instructor, your, to the demonstrator, so that any kind of safety measure should be adopted. Then report any personal accidents, such as if you have any cut, if you have any type of burn, if you have any type of uh, allergy, if you have any type of itching, any accident, any unpleasant event must be immediately reported to the instructor, to the attendant or to the lab demonstrator. Then after use, turn off all the burners, all the flames, all fire uh, using items. When not in use, they shouldn't be, uh, you can see, on, on, you can say they shouldn't be on throughout the time. Just for your use, switch on the burners and after use, immediately switch off the burners. Then discard all cultures and used glassware into the container labeled for the contaminant. Yes, when we are talking about the microbiology lab, uh, uh, you, you, you must, you are uh, properly knowing that you are dealing with the uh, my, microbes or if you are talking about the culture, like you are have any diseased culture, any found culture. So in such case, all these cultures and the equipment or the glassware which is used to create this culture must be immediately disposed of, must be Im immediately discarded in the container which is labeled contaminated because this is very much contaminated. This container will be later sterilized after disposing of all the material. The plastic or other disposable items should be discarded separately from the glassware in the container which is labeled for the plastics. So everything should be, uh, you can say, labor, everything should be discarded or disposed of into their proper container. Then next thing, never place contaminated pipettes on the bench. Whenever you use the pipet, like if you have pipetted out an acid, any culture, this should be uh, put on in the basin or should be discarded into the relevant container. It shouldn't be contaminated. Uh, pipette should not be contained, uh, put on on the bench top. When you flame sterilize uh, with alcohol, be sure that you do not have any paper under you because in such case, paper can ca catch the flame and flame hazard can happen. Before beginning your laboratory work, wash off the bench, 
bench top with the disinfectant provided this point has been cleared earlier your bench top must be disinfected when exercises are completed when you have completed your practical or experiment wash off the bench top again at the end of the experiment always wash your hands with the soap and water before leaving the laboratory this is again emphasis on that very point your hands must be washed before and after the experiment your bench top your workstation must be disinfected and cleaned before and after the experiment now before leaving the laboratory see that all the equipments are in proper location and gas and water taps turn off yes this is very much crucial point whenever you are leaving the laboratory you must have a turn around and must look all the things like you have noticed all the buttons of the lights are off all the fans are off all the flames are off okay all the containers of, of poisonous material like acids they are properly closed so before leaving the laboratory see that all the equipments are in the proper location and gas and water taps are turned off then purchase a fine point waterproof marker and small roll of masking tape clear yeah? use them to the clearly label your cultures so you must have a uh, waterproof markers you must have a uh, fine pointers and you must have small roll of masking tapes these tapes these waterproof markers or these pointers will help you for the tagging for the labeling of containers or equipments so use all these things these pointers these markers or masking tapes to clearly label your culture so that you can avoid mixing or you can avoid the hazards now if you should slip or drop a culture if any type of accident occur call the instructor immediately place a paper towel over any slip and pour disinfectant over that the towel let the disinfectant stand for 15 minutes and then clean the spill with a fresh paper towel remember to discard the paper towel in the proper uh, deceptible and wash your hands carefully this is the point in case of accident if you have any disease culture any dangerous material you must first put on uh, your any towel on that slip on that liquid which is slipping from the bench or your working station you you should immediately inform to the lab attendant or uh, the lab instructor anyone who is attending the lab and then after 10 to 15 minutes when all slip all liquid material is soaked by the paper towel the, that paper towel must be replaced with a new one and then you must wash your hands very carefully disinfect work area before and after use with 70% alcohol and fresh 10% bleach this is the composition of disinfectant which must be used to clean clean your bench top or which must be used to clean your workstation laboratory equipment and work surface should be decontaminated with an appropriate disinfectant on routine basis and especially after the spills any accidents splash or other contamination so this is again emphasis that your workstation must be cleaned again and again now replace caps on reagents look, look this is also important when you have used any kind of reagent like uh, you have used green reagent you have used citric acid you have used acetic acid so caps must be replaced replace caps on the reagents solution bottles and bacterial culture do not open petri dishes in the lab unless absolutely necessary petri dishes must be opened in the fume hood only in uh, in your uh, in fume hood or in laminar flow hood so uh, this is very important point that all the bottles or the caps of the containers must be closed cultures are not to be removed from from laboratory unless the instructor gives permission so cultures are there must be there to remain in the lab they must they not be taken away by the students because the cultures are hazardous always place culture tubes 
either these are broth or these are slants in upright position in a rack or in a basket for incubation or disposal otherwise the, your broth or your slant will be wasted or it will contaminate all the equipments dispose of all solid waste material in a um, biohazard bag and autoclave it before discarding in the regular trash this is also important if the material is dangerous it must be first sterilized in autoclave then it um, it should be uh, put into the regular trash tray so that our environment is or not also uh, get you can say uh, infected treat all the cultures as potentially pathogen for example flood areas with a disinfectant if cultures are spilled wash your hands after contact and notify your instructor again so must be conscious when dealing with the cultures when they have a, there is leakage there is drop of the culture area must be disinfectant hand must be disinfectant read the instructions carefully before beginning an exercise whenever we are going to do any experiment you must uh, follow the instructions also make sure you have all the materials needed for the exercise at hand before you commence the experiment ask the instructor for clarification of any point about which you are not uh, uh, you are in doubt so this is uh, your pre preparation means all your experimental material must be placed aside you must know the procedure then you must start the practical next about the flame flame the incubating loop or needle immediately before and after the use yes you have uh, gone through this practice in microbiology as well whenever you use a, a loop you must first flame it flame the incubating loop or needle immediately before and after use if a viscous material is present on the loop or needle dry it at the side of the flame before placing it directly into the flame so loop must be uh, put on the flame and if loop is uh, you can see have any sticky material loop must be cleaned first laboratory notebook must be kept up to date this is also important for our exams point of view you must do all the practical on regular basis illustrations should be done when requested make sure you consult the instructor to dispose of the cultures that are not needed any longer remove all the labels and marking from the tubes before disposing of them do not discard anything into the sink this is also very much important students are habitual to discard all the things in the sink that is why the sink gets choked and also there is the chance of disinfection so do not discard things into the sink okay please inform your instructor if you have any medical condition that could potentially affect your safety in the laboratory for example if you are diabetic patient if you are the patient of epilepsy or you have immunosuppression and you have to deal with the disease culture you must inform your instructor first this information will help the instructor to deal with any kind of emergency if arises the information will be treated confidentially and it will not affect their uh, ability to participate in the laboratory activities this type of information is just for your security so that instructor must be aware like if you have as the have as the ma and you must avoid the fume so that as the ma can be aggravated with the fumes so instructor must be vigilant about your health conditions be systematic and logical keep a faithful record of all the experiments and observation whatever you observe you must note in your notebook update it regularly and submit for the evaluation at the end of each exercise this is this must be your practice and i will also instruct you people please do your uh, exercise do your uh, labs regularly if like um, on wednesday at uh, uh, 10th of february your lab you must submit your written hand written notebook in this week as well work either using laminar air flow chamber or light burner at least 5 minutes prior to making any inoculation and work near the burner 
this was the last instruction so from my side this is about your safety measures you must read it carefully you must observe observe you must practice all these points when you are working in your laboratory clear yeah? um while talking about the laboratory notebook i have given you the demonstration you must note all this experiment on your uh, notebook and you, you first of all you will buy a notebook and in traditional style uh, mention your name roll number then uh, then you have to give uh, uh, the first one is the bibliography where you will write the experiment number date whatever then you will hand you will put on all this uh, demonstration on your notebook by your handwriting and you will uh, take up a snapshot or a picture of that notebook and will upload it in your assignment as a picture so don't try to copy paste my, the material provided by me copy it make it sure it is copied it is hand written present on your laboratory notebooks clear i will see you during uh, live discussion on at lab timings inshallah if you have any question any query you are welcome to ask during live session thank you so much